Hello, Shalom Aleichem. To my dear community, those listening to this Devar Torah, I want to share with you an insight, some words of Chizuk, Parsha Tetzaveh, which discusses the eight priestly garments, one of them being the tzitz. The tzitz was a crown of sorts that was placed upon the Kohen Hagadol, his head, and it said the following words, Kodesh la Hashem. What is the meaning of the tzitz? Why did it specifically sit on the head? So the Gemara and Masechet Zvachim tells us that the tzitz would atone for as the uh, the quality of azut metzach. What is azut metzach? Azut metzach is a negative quality. It's a negative attribute, which is could be defined in English as being dismissive, insolent, impudent. Um, it's a person who's brazen. He's not interested in what anybody else has to say. And this is a negative quality trait. And Rav Baruch Levi Epstein tries to understand why is azut metzach, why is the tzitz, what's it connected to the head in particular, the mind? And he explains as follows. That the truth is that Azut Meitzach is a negative quality trait in certain contexts. On Yom Kippur, we say Al Chait, we sinned Al Chait Shachatan Lefanecha Bazut Meitzach because of the of insolence of our of our forehead, if you will. On the other hand, we know in Perkavod, uh, we're told Hevei Az Kanamer, we should be sort of tough, as brazen like a leopard. So, is it a good quality? Is it a bad quality? Rav Bar Chalevi Epstein explains that, like everything in the world. Sometimes a quality can be good or bad, right? Every every trait that we have can be used for good or for bad. We could use our speech to share up, uplifting words. We could use our speech to put down other people, to degrade other people, to speak Lashon Hara. And the same thing is true with brazenness. In certain contexts, brazenness, chutzpah, is a very good thing. The brazenness of Am Yisrael to establish Midinat Yisrael in 1948, that was a good thing. The brazenness. That we that we have when we say, hey, I'm going to do this mitzvah. I have no issue davening in the airport with my tefillin, my sidur, and that's what I'm doing. I'm davening. I'm a Jew. This is what I do. The brazenness to not care about what the world has to say about us. We know, especially in the news today, you see all these these things that are total lies being said about Israel. We're some colonialist regime. We're not indigenous or native to this land. We have nothing to do here. The, the things that we're that we are that they uh, criminalize us for. Sometimes you need brazenness, a toughness to um, overcome that stuff. On the other hand, sometimes it's good to not be brazen. Sometimes it's good to be able to receive criticism, to not always put up a defense posture, to receive uh, wisdom from others, to be open to feedback. And so brazenness can be good or bad, depending on the context. And that's why the tzitz is specifically connected to the rosh, to the mind, because a person has to know to distinguish. When is it good to be brazen and tough? and unforgiving, and dismissive, and chutzpidik, and when is it sometimes good to say, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to be open to what other people have to say about me. I'm not going to be so tough. I'm willing to, to receive wisdom from others, receive feedback or criticism, and not everything that I do is always 100% correct, and I need to care about what those around me 